Hi, it's been a while, sorry about that. Uh, I've had a really busy time, but today I'm gonna try and make something really quickly, or at least get it cut out. I wanted to try and do this last week, but there were just way, 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 way too many things on. It was my birthday on Friday, yay, happy birthday to me. And then we had a bunch of people over for dinner on Saturday night, which was really great. But yeah, that just like took a lot more time than I thought. And then we also did other things for my birthday, it was really great. Hello everyone who's new here, thanks for being here. You guys are excellent. I'm gonna do some actual sewing today rather than just talking about sewing. And hopefully it's gonna be a quick thing to make. Basically I have these chairs that are, live on the balcony out there and I'm just gonna wait for that plane. Also, we've completely rearranged the house, so I'm still kind of adjusting to the new setup, but I'm kind of enjoying it because now next to me here is a giant space where I can cut out on the floor and it won't be in the way of people actually coming through the front door, which is very nice. Yeah, what was I saying today? Today, what am I doing today? Oh, so I have these chairs that are out on the balcony and they're really nice and they have these little cushions that go on the seat, but everything is white and it's a bit too white and bright for me. Plus things can kind of get a bit dirty out, out there and those cushions are a bit hard to wash. So I thought I might just make some little, there's little pillowcases that can go over the top of the cushions, cushion covers. Let's just call them cushion covers. I wanna make some cushion covers to go over the top of them so that I can quickly wash them if I have to. And that's what we're gonna do today. Let's do it, let's find the fabric. I'll show you the fabric. <laughs> I remembered that in my frantic tidying up before all of our guests came on Saturday night, I'd left this little pile of stuff out with the, with the very uh, aspirational goal of actually making something out of it. And I just picked up the whole pile and I put it in a random cupboard. So this is a fabric that I got a little while ago and I think it might just be Ikea fabric but it looks like it's for upholstery and it's kind of fun. It's still very light and bright, but I love these colors. So that's what I'm gonna to do today. And then, and then this is the cushion that needs a cover. It's basically just a big square. There are two of these, but they have these little ties at the back to help you tie it around the leg. I think I wanna make something so that it can go all the way over it and maybe there's a button or some sort of fastening that holds that side in because I don't want the cover just to like slip off as someone's sitting on it. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Also my sewing cupboard is a total mess and I cannot wait to reorganize it. That is a video that's gonna come probably in the week after this one. It's gonna be really satisfying. Hello. So first I'm just gonna measure around the cushion and see what I'm working with. So we have 20 by 20. Can you see that? So what I'm thinking is that there's this flap here at the back that folds over and maybe it goes all the way around like that. So then the bottom piece here folds up and then there's maybe three buttons so that way the tie can come through in the little gap here. And then I think I might need to make a gusset because I don't think I have enough width and enough fabric. You know that saying, measure twice, cut once? Well, I took that to a whole new level because I was so worried I was gonna run out of fabric that I measured about 20 times. So I'm cutting some of that out for you guys. And then I made a template, but I couldn't find my damn scissors. I cannot find like anything because we moved everything around. Ah! Good news, I found all my shit. There was a moment where I thought I would have to revert to the design without the gusset, but eventually I did some more calculations and this template helped me to figure out that I did actually have enough fabric to do the design that I wanted, but it was just gonna be a little tight. I ended up making my template 20 inches wide by 22 and a half inches long, which included half an inch seam allowance on each side for the gusset. And then I made the gusset two and a half inches wide plus seam allowance, which was another inch. And I ended up having so much to play with, so that was great. I'm really glad that I made this template because I was just initially gonna cut some stuff out and I'm glad that I stopped myself from doing that because that would have been a disaster. 
Right, those are my bits for the gusset. And then I think I'm going to have just enough for the actual seat parts. Uh, but I'm going to cut them out later because I gotta go. I know I said no more sewing at night, but I gotta get this at least started so I can finish it. So it can be a video <laughs> for you guys before next week. So it's half time in the footy. I'm going to cut these things out. As I said at the beginning of this video, I have had so much going on lately. I feel like ever since I finished uni, I have just been packing all of my spare time with anything I can possibly do. So this is the Friday night, the Saturday morning we went to Newcastle for the night and then I don't pick this back up again until we get back from Newcastle on the Sunday evening. Yeah, there's just a lot going on. It's great to have all this time, but oh my god. I need to figure out a way to not have so much on, dude. Hello, I'm back from being away and I want to finish this project. So I'm going to do it right now and then you guys can watch this all tomorrow. This Good on you for making this far and we haven't even started sewing yet. Oh my god, I always underestimate just how long it takes for me to get started on something and to cut it out. If I could just outsource my cutting out, that would just save me so much time. Okay, so I have all of my bits that I want to join together for my cushion cover. And I've rounded off the corners of the front part that's going to go over here and then I'm gonna leave the back corners open so that I can slide the cover on and still get the ties through so I can tie it around the chair leg and then I have these pieces that are gonna be my gusset and I managed to get a couple of long bits with a little stripe down the middle which I think will look really nice running along the front of the cushion like that so I'm gonna try and line that up with the line work on the on the cover part and then hopefully it'll all look really nice but what I do need to do is line that up and trim these down a bit and add a little bit of the other plain bit on so that it actually makes it all the way around to the back. Here I am just flying through some French seams on those little extra bits that I had to join to the gusset. I could have got the overlocker out, but this was just way quicker without having to change machines. I also just turned in the edges on those and top stitched along just to finish that off. Okay, now that I've done those bits and I've finished up the edges, I'm going to line up the fronts and the sides with the gusset pieces and I'm going to stitch that on and then I'm going to go around it with the overlocker and finish off that edge before I turn in the flappy edge, which will eventually have buttons on it. But I don't think I have enough buttons to do the buttons today, but I really want to get this project sort of just almost wrapped. So that's what I'm going to do now. I stitched the gusset on using a half inch hem and then I went in with the overlocker and finished off the raw edge but as usual I always have issues with my overlocker and so I had to take a break to re-thread the damn thing because it kept breaking. One of these days I'll actually remember how to bloody re-thread my overlocker. This always takes me way longer. I should be able to do this by now. And after consulting the manual for the 50th time this week, I finally figured it out and hopefully I'll overlock something soon and it'll just work and then I won't need to get the manual out to fix it. But I guess this is all part of, all part of just sewing stuff. <laughs> Check it out. That looks so cool. See? And there's a little hole where the ties can come through. Okay, what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to stitch these bits down and then I'll fold in the top maybe twice. Just a little bit of a uh, hem finish. And then later on I'll put the buttons on. Great. Ok, 
Okay, so I've finished one, pretty much, except for the buttons. These flappy bits are maybe a bit too big, so I might revise them when I put the buttons on. I don't have any buttons in my stash. I don't have enough buttons of the same kind, but I might end up folding that over a little bit more to give a bit more stability for the buttons and the buttons holes to attach. Um, probably just like an inch or so. But I'm really happy with the design and I'm really pleased with how it turned out. So I'm going to whiz through the other one and I'll show you guys what they look like when I have a coffee in the morning or maybe a drink later on. So I'm just going to whiz through that now and I'll see you in a second. I'm not one of those trendy people with one of those little road clip-on thingies yet, but maybe one day I will be. In the meantime though, I just wanted to say that I've been having a bit of a shit time lately and it really means a lot to all the people that come along and subscribe and really watch my stuff and interact. It really keeps me going and I can't believe how close I am to getting to 1000 subscribers. And I know that a lot of YouTubers will say that they never really think about those things, but I think it is nice when you kind of put out some videos and it starts to resonate with people. I never really knew that that would happen for me and lately it started to happen and I just think it's really nice. Um, it's really lifting me up when some other things are not going super well for me right now. So thank you to everyone who's here and hopefully more of you will be joining soon. Please enjoy the almost finished product of my seat cushion covers. Anyway, we'll, I'll see you guys next week for some more sewing maybe actually i think i need to organize my sewing stuff asap so i'm gonna do that i think thanks for being here i'll see you guys soon bye also how do you like my dino we saw some friends earlier and they have two little girls and it was really cute one of them gave me a dinosaur sticker it was the best <laughs>